Another district attorney is fighting a war against drugs. Brent Cooper is reviving the drug task force in the 22nd Judicial District, which includes Murray, Giles, Lawrence, and Wayne Counties. New at 6, News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas shows us how they hope to impact the overall crime rate. The war on drugs looks different than it has in the past. Through informants, uh, traffic stops, and, and uh, uh, search warrants and stuff like that, uh, we're seeing a lot more than we used to see. The drug of choice continues to change. We have a little bit of meth, we have a, a little bit of marijuana, and we have a, a lot of, uh, of cocaine or crack cocaine. So. And for smaller cities like Mount Pleasant, it's a tough battle to fight. I don't have a specific drug officer. Uh, we basically, most of my patrolmen work uh, drug cases. That's why District Attorney Brent Cooper is reassembling a drug task force in the four counties that make up the 22nd Judicial District. Drug dealers, I think, will seek those areas out a lot of times because they know uh, that uh, there, aren't, there isn't a narcotics unit, so to speak, working. It specifically benefits smaller cities by providing more collaborative resources from surrounding areas. The drug task force gives me access to uh, more officers, uh, more equipment, uh, more everything. According to the district attorney, at least 60% of all of the cases he prosecutes has something to do with drugs, from shoplifting to murders. It's actually more rare to have a case where there, where there are no drugs involved. So the idea is if you tackle drugs, you can address far more issues with crime. We deal with the dealers right now, and this hopefully will help us, give us uh, access to more equipment and more manpower to actually go with the suppliers instead of just the dealers. Just think, the criminals don't consider county boundaries. Now law enforcement in this district won't have to either. In Murray County, Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD. The task force is partially funded through a federal grant. It will officially begin on July 1st.